Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna learn about how you can connect OpenAlgo with uh, Zeroda Kite API. And uh, I'm gonna go to the Zeroda developer portal. So from the developer portal, I'm gonna log in and then I'm gonna create a new app. So from the Kite Connect developer portal, uh, I'm gonna enter the app name. So app name I'm gonna give it like OpenAlgo and then uh, I'm gonna enter my client ID, I'm gonna enter my redirect URL and uh, description, I'm gonna ensure that I'll keep uh, some reasonable details over here and then I'm gonna click on create. Now once I click create, right, uh, the app ID and app secret will be created. So by default, you can see that uh, OpenAlgo supports both the connect API and also the personal API. Personal API will be used only for trading purpose. You will not be able to access any historical data or any live uh, streaming market codes or WebSocket codes. Whereas if in case if you want uh, the access to market codes and WebSockets and historical data, typically a data API, you need to have access to the connect API, which will be costing you 500 credits for uh, 30 days. So you have to purchase from Kite Connect before using it in uh, OpenAlgo, right? Once you're done with that, uh, you can uh, uh, go to the uh, account. So here I have my Kite Connect uh, and historical chart data. So uh, let me open that. I'm gonna keep this API key and also an API secret key handy, right? So I'll ensure that my redirect url is like 5000 this is my old one but uh, le let me ensure that i'm using uh, port 5000 because i'm gonna run my open algo in this specific port maybe if you are running in your own uh, private uh, custom domain then you have to ensure that you are configuring the redirect url according to your domain configuration now i'm gonna go and uh, i'm gonna go to open algo and then i'm gonna go to the github link i'm gonna copy the github link over here Followed by that, I am going to my VS code. Let me pull up my Visual Studio code over here. So here is my Visual Studio code. I'm gonna go to file open folder. So from the open folder, I'll go to my D drive. I'm gonna create a new folder over here. I'm gonna go to new folder. Then I'm gonna create like open algo hyphen zero da. And then followed by that, let me select that particular folder and uh, I'll go to the terminal. From the terminal, I'll open up a new terminal over here. And then followed by that, I'm gonna clone it. So I'm gonna use a git clone, paste it out, and then type enter. Of course, you have to use git sem. Ensure that git sem is there, Python is there. So git hyphen hyphen version. If you check it out, you should be having git version. So that will be allow you to download open I'll go directly from the github portal and also ensure that python is also configured well right ensure you are using python 3.10 or higher version right now once open algo is downloaded right you also have to install a pip version over here pip install uv so this will be installing the uv package for faster package processing and also like uh, faster library downloads and virtual management a lot more things UV is something pretty much modern in the world of Python. So once all these installations are done, right, you'll be also seeing like on the on your left hand side, OpenAlgo is already downloaded. Now I'm gonna get into the OpenAlgo folder over here by saying CD space OpenAlgo. So you just simply type CD space OpenAlgo and then type enter. Followed by that, we are going to copy the dot sample env file, which is where we're gonna keep our credentials. So I'm gonna say cp, cp is for copy, dot sample, dot env. And then I'm gonna re, I mean move the file, copy the file from dot sample dot env to dot env. And uh, it creates a dot env file. So this is where I'm gonna keep my credentials over here. So the broker name, I'm gonna change this to zero da. Right. So ensure that it is as per the valid broker settings. So here you can find all the valid list of all the valid broker settings over here. And uh, API key and API secret key, which is what we had uh, taken it from the portal. I'm gonna copy and paste it over here. So I'll go to the portal again. From here, I'll copy the API key and then I'll bring it over here. Likewise, I'm also gonna 
copy and get the AP secret key as well. Let me copy it and then let me bring it over here. Right now, once this is done, I'm gonna st uh, start my open algo. So uv run app.py. So remember, you have to run this command only from the open algo core uh, folder. So this is the open algo core folder. So inside that, you have to run uv run app.py. I'm going to type enter, it's going to create a virtual environment, it's going to install the libraries, almost close to close 129 libraries are there. And then it initializes the database. So first time, uh, it's going to take a slightly a little bit of time, from second time onwards it will be pretty much faster. So it starts the scheduler in the background, and also it's going to initialize all the database, and it's also going to start the uh, open algo application, it's also going to start the WebSocket servers. So I'm going to click on uh, this particular port where my open algo is running. So I'm going to control click. So that should be launching open algo as you can see that uh, I'm going to log in. So first time when I'm going to try to log in, it's going to ask me for an initial setup. So I'm going to enter my open algo credentials. I'm creating for the very first time, right? And this login id is only for your purpose only only for login to the open algo portal not your uh, zero the credentials and all your credentials stays locally it, it doesn't goes anywhere right so let me create the login id and once i created the login it will be asking me to set up a totp authentication you can use it you can scan with your google authenticator or any other authenticator code this is only for the purpose of uh, re recovering your account if in case if you forgot your password if in case if you feel like uh, you don't need this or uh, you can remember your password you can skip this you can click on continue to login right so from the kite connect developer portal uh, i'm gonna enter the app name so app name i'm gonna give it like open algo and then uh, i'm gonna enter my client id i'm gonna enter my redirect url and uh, description, I'm going to ensure that I'll keep uh, some reasonable details over here. And then I'm going to click on create. Now, once I click create, right, uh, the app ID and app secret will be created. So by default, you can see that uh, open algo supports both the connect API and also the personal API. Personal API will be used only for trading purpose. You will not be able to access any historical data or any live uh, streaming market codes or WebSocket codes. Whereas if in case if you want uh, the access to market codes and WebSockets and historical data, typically uh, data API, you need to have access to the connect API, which will be costing you 500 credits for uh, 30 days. So you have to purchase from Kite Connect before using it in uh, Open Algo, right? Once you're done with that, uh, you can uh, uh, go to the uh, account. So here I have my Kite Connect uh, and the historical chart data. So let me open that. I'm gonna keep this API key and also an API secret key handy, right? So I'll ensure that my uh, redirect url is like 5000 this is my old one but uh, le le let me ensure that i'm using uh, port 5000 because i'm gonna run my open algo in this specific port uh, maybe if you are running in your own uh, private uh, custom domain then you have to ensure that you are configuring the redirect url according to your domain configuration now i'm gonna go and uh, i'm gonna go to open algo and then i'm gonna go to the github link i'm gonna copy the github link over here Followed by that, I am going to my VS code. Let me pull up my Visual Studio code over here. So here is my Visual Studio code. I'm gonna go to file open folder. So from the open folder, I'll go to my D drive. I'm gonna create a new folder over here. I'm gonna go to new folder. And then I'm gonna create like open I'll go hyphen zero da. And then followed by that, let me select that particular folder and uh, I'll go to the terminal. From the terminal, I'll open up a new terminal over here. And then followed by that, I'm gonna clone it. So I'm gonna use a git clone, paste it out, and then type enter. Of course, you have to use git sem. Ensure that git sem is there, Python is there. So git hyphen hyphen version. If you check it out, you should be having git version. So that will be allow you to download open I'll go directly from the github portal and also ensure that python is also configured well 
right ensure you are using python 3.10 or higher version right now once open algo is downloaded right you also have to install a pip version over here pip install uv so this will be installing the uv package for faster package processing and also like uh, faster library downloads and virtual management a lot more things uv is something pretty much modern in the world of python so once all these installations are done right you will be also seeing like on the on your left hand side open algo is already downloaded now i'm going to get into the open algo folder over here by saying cd space open algo so just simply type cd space open algo and then type enter followed by that we are going to copy the dot sample env file which is where we're going to keep our credentials so i'm going to say cp cp is for copy dot sample dot env and then i'm going to re i mean move the file copy the file from dot sample dot env to dot env and uh, it creates a dot env file so this is where i'm going to keep my credentials over here so the broker name i'm going to change this to zero da right so ensure that it is as per the valid broker settings so here you can find all the valid list of all the valid broker settings over here and uh, api key and api secret key which is what we had taken it from the portal i'm going to copy and paste it over here so i'll go to the portal again from here i'll copy the api key and then i'll bring it over here likewise i'm also going to copy and get the api secret key as well let me copy it and then let me bring it over here right now once this is done i'm going to st uh, start my open algo so uv run app.py so remember you have to run this command only from the open algo core uh, folder so this is the open algo core folder so inside that you have to run uv run app.py i'm going to type enter it's going to create a virtual environment it's going to install the libraries almost close to close 129 libraries are there and then it initializes the database so first time uh, it's going to take a slightly a little bit of time from second time onwards it will be pretty much faster so it start the scheduler in the background and also it's going to initialize all the database and it's also going to start the uh, open algo application it's also going to start the web socket servers so i'm going to click on uh, this particular port where my open algo is running so i'm going to control click so that should be launching open algo as you can see that uh, i'm going to log in so first time when i going to try to log in it's going to ask me for an initial setup so i'm going to enter my open algo credentials i'm creating for the very first time right and this login id is only for your purpose only only for login to the open algo portal not your uh, zero the credentials and all your credentials stays locally it, it doesn't goes anywhere right so let me create the login id and once i created the login it will be asking me to set up a totp authentication you can use it you can scan with your google authenticator or any other authenticator code this is only for the purpose of uh, re recovering your account if in case if you forgot your password if in case if you feel like uh, you don't need this or uh, you can remember your password you can skip this you can click on continue to login now i'm going to enter my login credentials over here this is my open algo credentials which i created i'm going to enter and once i entered it is going to ask me to connect with the broker credentials i'm going to connect the zero da account i'm going to enter my zero da passwords so once it is done right it will be automatically starting the master contract download it says like master contract download is successfully and the downloading status should be changing it to ready which means you are now uh, ready to do automated trading i hope this explains how to set up uh, open algo with uh, zero da kite api so if in case uh, you want more details you can also go to the zero da documentation in open algo so from you can go to docs.openalgo.in from there you can go to connect brokers from there you can scroll down to zero da so there you will be seeing the complete uh, configuration instructions over here so what to what are the api key api security settings and redirect url 
and then uh, so all the other references uh, your one stop solution is docs.openalgo.in right and if in case uh, you need any support you can also connect with our uh, discord community as well so you can reach the discord community over here or you can also go to the openalgo portal from here you can uh, connect the discord community support from here right if in case if you're facing any issues or uh, any configuration instructions that you want to know uh, completely end to end if you, anything that you want to know then the one stop destination is our discard community so i hope that explains uh, everything so see you soon in yet another interesting video thank you bye bye